Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can create XML sitemap of your WordPress website and submit it to a webmaster tool. So sitemap is essential to let search engines know which web pages you have and how to crawl it. This will help you to increase traffic to your website. So uh, on your web uh, WordPress platform you need to first uh, need to log in. So this is my uh, WordPress platform, and you need to go to plugins, and you need to install uh, Yoast SEO. It is freely available uh, plugin, and you can find it on uh, this WordPress platform itself. So after adding it, uh, it need to activate it, and just install it and activate it on your WordPress platform. And uh, this is uh, the Yoast SEO uh, plugin. And uh, now go to settings. So uh, here you can you will not be able to find uh, XML sitemap option. Uh, you need to uh, make changes. So you need to go to features. Under feature, you need to here this is the option in advanced settings. You need to activate this option. This is showing. You need to enable it. As of now, it is disabled. You need to is you need to click here. This is now enabled, and you need to uh, click on Save Changes. So here you can see now this option has come up. XML Site Map. You can see this option. Just click over it. So here you can see you can enable it or disable it. So let uh, us enable it. And uh, here you can see these are the options. You do not need to create sitemap manually. So using this uh, plugin, so it, it, uh, sitemap is already created. And you can have maximum uh, 1000 uh, entries. You can increase it or decrease it as per your uh, choice. You need to just make changes here, no, the number, and click on save changes. And here you can see. Uh, Post type sitemap settings. In post type sitemap settings, you can uh, uh, make changes in post, in sitemap, or not in sitemap. And pages is also in in sitemap. So uh, pages, media, and post you can uh, include it in sitemap or uh, not in sitemap. But it, it is better to uh, include all these things in sitemap so that. Uh, people be, will be able to uh, able to search you on search engines using all these options post pages and media so this option is excluded post so if you want to uh, exclude specific post from your sitemap you can add post IDs here and click on change changes last option taxonomies so uh, in uh, taxonomy uh, sitemap setting, you can see tags, categories, and format. These three options are there. So I will suggest to uh, stay in, uh, keep these three, all three options in sitemap. So you can, if you don't want like format, you click here, not in sitemap. But I will suggest you to stay, uh, keep it all these options in sitemap. So I think now you will be able to add a sitemap on your uh, WordPress website. It's very simple. So now let's learn how uh, you can uh, uh, submit uh, this link to your WordPress, uh, your, uh, uh, your WordPress website uh, XML to your Google Webmaster Tool. So for here, you need to uh, click here, this link. You can find your XML sitemap here. You need to just click on this link. So this is uh, the XML sitemap of my website. You need to enter this link in your Webmaster Tool. So let's go to the master tool now. This is my webmaster tool. I have need to find my website here. I have to add so many website. So I will add, uh, find my specific India Zone website in the donor dot net. So this is my website. Just need to click on it. 
this is my property section in the I need to go to crawl click on sitemaps here you can see the, uh, it's saying no sitemap found for this website so I will add my sitemap here I need to click on add and test sitemap so I need to include uh, the link I need to enter this link just enter the link submit now we click on refresh so you can see here sitemap is added so it will take some time for indexing is saying showing pending submitted is pending so it will take some time and after that time your sitemap will be live or uh, uh, your Google will be able to uh, search your sitemap on its web searches and uh, it will benefit you to gain more traffic to your website and it's better for search engines to know your website and know your web pages, know your images, know your posts so that you can get more and more traffic so I think uh, this video is helpful for you and now you will be able to uh, add your XML sitemap on your WordPress website and link it to your webmaster tool so if you like this video just click on like share or comment and uh, keep on watching my latest video bye bye and take care